Welcome back. It's Jason Hootie with day two of the Magic Mini Series. As we all work our way through the coronavirus together, I'm putting together this little magic series to teach you easy magic tricks that you can do with objects around your house. Yesterday we learned a really fun card trick, so be sure to go back and take a look at that if you'd like to. And today I have a really, really fun trick to share with you. But before we get to that, I thought I'd share with you a little bit about who I am as your teacher. And to do that, take a look at this one minute video. The night's guest is one of the hottest young wand swingers out there. <laughs> Equally comfortable with mentalism and grand illusion. Please welcome Jason Hoodie. He has performed over 8,000 shows in the past 20 years, performing for ESPN, Chevrolet, Hershey, and many more. His show has been seen by over 1 million people in 14 countries around the world. Jason is a regular guest entertainer on Disney Cruise Lines the gold standard in live entertainment. Late night talk show host Greg Ferguson calls Jason's show sensational. Jason was one of a select group of magicians invited to perform at the House of Magic at Studio City Casino in Macau, near Hong Kong. He starred in the magic of Saipan 950 times over a two year period while living on the U.S. territory of Saipan. Jason was a part of a tour that performed in 30 cities over three months across the country of China. His show has been featured in hundreds of theaters and performing arts centers across the globe. Jason's TED Talk gives audiences a peek behind the curtain into the world of illusion. His show is a combination of innovative illusions and mind-bending magic. And now, it's your turn to experience the magic. Today I get to travel all around performing giant magic shows like you saw in that video. But it wasn't always the case. I started magic when I was 12 years old learning magic tricks at the local library. And this was one that I found in one of my very first magic books. Take a look. For today's magic trick, I am going to teach you how to make a penny disappear. Now magicians know all sorts of fancy ways to make a penny disappear, but they always have to touch it to make it happen. I'm gonna make that penny disappear without even touching it. I'm gonna use a clear, see-through glass and a dish towel. Watch, the penny I will never touch. I take and cover up the glass with the dish towel. I cover up the penny with the glass and then it's magic. My hands never come near that penny. Snap of the fingers and that penny has vanished. Okay, are you ready to learn how to make the penny disappear? Do you have any guesses of how it happened? I'll show you. This is really, really cool magic because the penny never moves. The penny stays right there. But take a look, it's actually the glass that does the magic trick because I took the same color piece of paper and glued it to the bottom of the glass. Now here's what you wanna do. With an adult's help, you grab two pieces of paper and a plastic cup. You cut a circle so that it fits the glass and then with a little bit of glue, you glue on the top of the glass and then stick the paper to it. Once you've done that, you will now have something that looks like this. So you grab a second sheet of paper, cut a circle out of the paper, glue the paper to the glass and you will end up with this. Now you're all set to go. You're ready to perform magic. You can use a dish towel, you can use a newspaper, you can use anything around the house. If I was performing a real magic show, I'd use a really fancy cloth of some sort. But since we're doing this just for fun around the house, a dish towel works perfectly. You have everything set up just like this and then all you have to do is cover up the glass. So you show everyone the penny, you never pick up the glass and say, I have an empty glass, but you can put your hand behind it and move it around to show that it's clear through. And then you show your dish towel. You cover it on up, and then you just pick up the glass and put it on top of the penny. As soon as you do that, the penny is going to disappear. I'll show you what it looks like without the towel. So pretend I have a towel in my hand and I cover up the glass. I then lift up the glass to cover up the penny, take away the dish towel, and the penny has vanished. Isn't that a cool magic trick? And it's something that you can do to amaze your family and friends. All right, that is all for today. Be sure to come on back. We'll have another magic trick for you soon. Take care, everyone.